Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast. Certified by WeatherRate, four years in a row. This is a very moist weather pattern as the atmospheric river pushes into northern Utah. It originated in the western Pacific, moved over the northern Pacific, and now across Oregon into the Beehive State. Precipitation is turning fairly heavy, especially in the Wasatch Mountain Valleys and over our mountains of northern Utah. Do have a little back edge to this initial phase of precipitation. It's mostly rain in the valleys with snow on the benches and well, a little bit higher on the benches and heavy snow in the mountain valleys with snow across the Wasatch, including the Wellsville and into the Monte Cristo area, the Bear River Range, and also over towards the western Uintas. Pretty heavy snow now falling in the high country. It is rain in Logan. We have a little rain snow mix in Layton. It is snowing across the Ogden Valley. I expect we'll see heavy snow here as well as in the Park City area. Getting a rain shadow effect here off of the Ochres. This pattern is not favorable for heavy snow or heavy rain in the Salt Lake Valley. It will wait until the cold front moves through after midnight before it shifts over to a heavier pa precipitation pattern. But the heaviest uh, snow, once it changes over, will be in the east bench areas and of course in the mountains and also around the uh, Provo area. Mix of rain and snow here for us right now. Heavy snow is falling in Park City and around uh, Morgan. We're getting some snow in Colville and all the way up into Wyoming. So some sloppy slick, not so good traffic expected across Interstate 80 for the next couple of days. Now the snow levels initially are going to be fairly high, maybe getting up close to 5,500 feet tonight, and then they will crash uh, tomorrow morning to the valley floor. So the best chance for snow will be accumulating in those bench areas and also uh, in the east side. That's really the east side bench areas in the mountains. We'll see two to six inches on average with the heaviest snow along the northern Wasatch Front and in the bench areas. Mountain valleys easily eight to 16 inches of snow as much as 20 to 40 inches by tomorrow night and Wednesday across the northern mountains, Cache Valley and Wyoming, three to eight inches of snow. Central and southern Utah mountains, 10 to 22 inches, and the southern Utah valleys, once this storm reaches you tomorrow, above about 5,500 feet, two to five inches will fall in your neck of the woods. Now it's kind of hard to see Deer Valley here, the resort, because the snow is falling so heavily that the camera's reflecting those snow showers, those heavy snowflakes as they come down. Uh, taking a look at the uh, latest radar, you can see why it's snowing heavily in the park city area. Now avalanche danger is going to be extreme. We're adding heavy snow, concrete kind of snow, we call it Sierra concrete, on top of what is an unstable snow mix. So these uh, avalanche conditions are going to get worse before they get better. It is recommended you not go into the backcountry, uh, ski in those areas which have had avalanche control. And I am getting word that there will be some avalanche control in many of the canyons in the morning uh, going up to Powder Mountain, for example. So be aware of that. Here's what it looks like in Logan. It is raining with a snow mix on the benches. We'll see this change over to snow uh, later tonight and tomorrow. And from the Heber Valley, you can see it is snowing here. This is the new snow falling on the trees. A couple of inches in the last little while in the Heber Valley. But in the Salt Lake Valley, we have that rain shadow. You can see the snow is evaporating before it reaches the ground. So I'm not expecting heavy accumulations here in the Salt Lake Valley tonight. It'll be more so tomorrow. As long as we have this south wind, that tends to give us that rain shadow effect. A little uh, later tonight, though, we'll shift over to snow. 29 in price, so the eastern basins will see some precipitation in the form of rain and snow coming up for you, and expect that to be locally heavy at times as that uh, storm system rolls in. Winter storm warnings where you see the pink shade, and winter weather advisories where you see that uh, purple shade for us tonight through tomorrow. So heavy precipitation expected. You can certainly see it here on the weather map as we head into the next 24 to 48 hours. Very heavy snow on these lighter shades here across the Wasatch Mountains and areas to the east. Okay, tonight, here's your low temperatures. Here's your high temperatures for tomorrow. Periods of precipitation tapering off a bit in the afternoon. We'll even see some showers across southern Utah. St. George seven-day forecast. Rain showers tomorrow. Rain snow mix on Christmas Day. Wasatch front, periods of rain, wind, and showers. Heavy snow likely on Wednesday as well as again on Christmas Day. The weekend downright cold. We will see the first below zero temperatures in a couple of years. Ooh, two that's not on a good number. Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. It does improve a little bit in the afternoon. That's why I gave it a two. Because <laughs> it would have been a one. Yep. All right. We'll be right back.